Had you guys played together before? First time ever playing so together. So how did that happen? How did you how did you guys connect and uh, what did you guys decide to play together? Actually, it turned out in Milan we both played we both played a tournament in Milan and had no idea. I had didn't know him. He didn't know me, and we just kind of we played actually in the first round of doubles, and we knew that we were both Polish, so we kind of met each other then, mm -hmm. and then we kind of we became friends, and then I asked him to play doubles here, in Creed, and that's it. Do you speak Polish? I do. Okay. So yeah. is that how you guys communicate on the yeah. court? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, are your parents Polish born? Or? Yeah, my both parents were born born and raised in Poland. Actually, you know what city? Um, my dad's from Warsaw, and my mom's from Zakopane. I beg your pardon. It's uh, this little little town in the very southern tip of Poland called Zakopane. Z a k o p a n e. It's like Aspen here. We apply for winter Olympics. Aspen of Poland. Aspen of Poland. Yeah. Were you born here? I was born here in Chicago. Okay. Yeah. Any uh, second thoughts about college tennis now? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I'm committed to play for Duke, and even though this is obviously a huge result, I'm still, I'm definitely gonna still go to Duke and gonna play for Duke. Good idea. <laughs> what about San Diego State? <laughs> and I understand you have a brother at Duke, right? I do. I do have a brother at Duke. He's what year is he? He is a he is a sophomore right now. Okay. Does he also play tennis? He does. He's on the tennis team, actually. All right, so that's exciting for you. you yeah, to yeah. To play well, with your brother. To Red Luke, he's on the same team. <laughs> Is that why you picked him? It was a big reason why, yeah. Who's the coach in Uh Ramsey Smith is the head coach, and Jonathan Stoke is the assistant. And what about you? Are you going to go to college and play tennis? No, I don't know yet. Yeah. How old no are idea. you? How old are you? 17. 17. Is this your first Grand Slam? Trophy? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised? Are you pleased? I'm a little bit surprised. I'm oh, sorry? No, I'm so surprised so much. Yeah. Did you, after you beat the top seed in the first round, was that, did you have an idea that you could I mean, this? you know, there was still four matches away from winning the tournament, and everybody in the tournament's obviously, they're here for a reason. They're all very, very good. So, I mean, beating the one seed's first round definitely Definitely made, got us thinking, but the tournament, the, the title, it was a little, little out there still. Were you surprised at how it played out with by the semis? There weren't any seeded teams in? Or a little bit. I was, I was actually surprised by those. I wasn't surprised that the one seeds weren't there, but. <laughs> <laughs> when do you go up to Duke? Uh, next year, next fall. Next fall. I start, yep. So we're, you're in Boca now? I'm in Boca now. Where do you train? I train at the USTA oh, okay. USTA Training Center. But you don't live there, right? I don't live on campus, but I live close, near, very nearby. And I don't know if you've already talked a little bit about the match today, but very few opportunities for either team to to break serve. Yeah, very. I mean, the other the other team when one one of the players, Quentin Hullies, had an unbelievable serve and Frederico had unbelievable volleys and then Frederico was serving very well and then Hullies would have unbelievable volleys. So the break was really tough, but uh, we got our chance. I think we had maybe three break chances in the match and we took advantage of two. So really good returning for us. Camille, who do you look up to in any of your players from your country? You're doing well now. Yes, you have. Anyone in particular? Any player in particular from your country that you look up to now? Yes, I am. Genoese. Genoese. Yeah. Are you guys going to watch any of the tennis going on at Ash? Uh, we want to definitely, especially the Rafa Gas game is going to be unbelievable. Are you, how does it feel, especially being an American, winning? Uh, uh, here. There, there's no words to describe it really. Being at home winning a Grand Slam, there's, I'm, just don't wake me up yet. That's all I have to say. <laughs> are you guys going to go out and celebrate? We definitely will, yeah. Where are you guys going to go? Uh, that I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out. The cheering section that you had today? Oh, that yeah, was, can, can that was huge. Can you where they came from? Or? Um, actually, my godfather, he lives in Flushing Meadows, so... He, he knows people here, and obviously they were able to get together an unbelievable support team. 
And I don't know if we would have been able to do it without them, to be honest. Listen, listen Paul. Imagine you started your tennis career in Chicago. Yeah. In Chicago. Could you name the coaches who contributed the most to your success? Um, in Chicago and in Florida, right? Because right now you... The, um, well, actually, the biggest coach probably that contributed to my development, his name is Sylvain Guichard. He's originally born and raised in France, but he was the head coach at Mississippi State for 12 years. And he came to Chicago to my racket club, and we started working together, and that's when I really started playing better, and that's when that's when things really started happening. So. And he's with the USTA. Yeah, he's with the USTA. The same question to Kami, who's been his home coach at the beginning and right now? At the beginning, and right now is my skill that my coach mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. Any other questions? Just one quick, um, when you broke serve those two times, what was what did that make the score? Can you remember where you? It, well, in the first set, it made the score four two. I think I know that uh, we held for five two. Yep. And then in the second set, it made it five three, and then they held for five four pretty yeah. easily. I think. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs>